welcome to part number 10 of uh, how to make pos system we are making pos system in uh, microsoft access and in previous video you have watched i demonstrated how to um, create this dashboard and uh, if you haven't watched please go ahead and do that the list, link for all the nine videos previous videos in this series are in the description below so please go ahead and do that so it will be easy for you to understand what we are trying to create here in today's tutorial um, what I would like to create as I mentioned in previous tutorial as well I would like to create a dynamic form so if you click any of these buttons right list of sales order if you would like to see all the sales order that are created in this system in this application you click here you'll be presented a form and that form will have all the sales orders listed and that form you should have functionality to create uh, sorry create a new order uh, sales order even from that screen you should be able to search for new order you should be able to view all the details about one particular order you should be able to do multiple things from that particular screen and that form is called dynamic form i call it uh, for example you would like to see all the list of suppliers that exist in your database you click here you will see that for example you want to create a list of all these suppliers you want to modify detail of a, a supplier existing supplier you can do all of that from that particular form and it's called dynamic form the reason i called it dynamic form is because there is one form one list box but you can present um, different information on that one particular form so you don't have to create each form for each and every element or component separately so i find that very useful so that's why i want to create that in this video also so let's go ahead and do that and um, i'll go to the design view in here actually i don't need this let's go to the create button let's create a new form so form design let's increase the size of it a little bit okay height also and uh, let's have a header and footer so header would be perhaps yeah this much height we need it okay let's do a little housekeeping i call it uh, i think for now uh, if you are watching my videos you must be knowing it but first i would like to change the header back color as well so we'll click here on the header and we'll go to the back color and in here we'll paste that cool to keep the same design language that's why we need to have the same color let's decrease the height of it perhaps till 12 right now let's have a list box here so go to the design view copy a list box and we'll paste it right here okay cancel it and let's change the font color to black and i would like to give a name to this list box and that name is dynamic list this is going to be extremely useful list box and you will see in the future why um, let's do a little housekeeping here uh, for this form as well and we'll go to the format uh, because at the moment if you will go and see form view this looks ugly right according to me so we need to get rid of this um, uh, record selector we need to get rid of this navigation and we need to make this form a small form and we need to make it as pop-up and model and it should be open in the center that's what we are going to do now and in here we will go to the format and uh, let's go ahead and do all of that whatever i said auto center yes and record selected turn off navigation buttons turn off uh, scroll bars we don't need it we don't need scroll bars and then go to the other pop-up no, pop-up yes model yes 
and we'll change the caption to dynamic form well it we need to change again let's save this form so we'll, we'll keep the name short dynamic f there you go we have to change it again as i said okay save it close it double click it where it is dynamic f there you go that's what i want it right so i want it right in the center i wanted it to look nicer and clean so that's what it is now it's not yet completed just wait for this next one so design view uh, what i would like to have is a search box here right i would like to have two buttons here i would like to have one text box here here i would like to have one button here i will tell you the reason why do i need to have those controls so there is a reason behind each one of them and uh, that's what i'm going to explain later but first let's have those controls on our forms so let's have a search box first so we'll go to the design tab we'll take the text box paste it right here and we'll type in here uh, type the search term now for depending on the record which is being displayed here uh, there will be search term will be different uh, depending on the record and for example what I'm talking what I'm, I will explain for example if we are presenting list of suppliers in this list box then the search term will be supplier name or the city or country that would be search term right if we are presenting employees information on this list box then our search term would be employee name or their email address or phone number so on and so forth so this is what search term means let's go ahead and change the font color maybe to black bold it and let's increase the size of this text box width width of this text box now let's have a button two buttons here one is for search another is one another one is for uh, show all let's go and grab a button okay change the caption to search format change the shape style okay we'll have let's decrease the width change the name bt and search we'll have an icon binoculars okay let's have oops what happened control z control c control v and we'll say show all we'll simply bring it here and we'll change the name of this button btn show all right now i would like to change the height of all of these controls so from height should be 0 0.3 oops 0.6 yeah that is fine and we'll change the margins top margin 0.06 or 0.05 all right okay let's bring them closer now if i'll go to the form view let's have a look right so user can search hit search show all type the search term good next thing i would like to do is i would like to create a button here as well so let's copy this button and let's perhaps align it on the left side 
let's make it as create so we'll name it as create because this is going to be a universal button which is going to be used for multiple records and i'm going to explain that in a bit just give me a few seconds so change the icon um, what else what else we need to do i think that is it let's have another text box here so perhaps we'll copy here and we'll change it now viewing okay I will, I will explain all of this you must be wondering what he's doing but trust me there is a purpose behind each and every text box or control that i'm having on this form so shape fill transparent shape outline transparent and let's make the font color to full black let's make it non-editable let's bring them down a little bit let's yeah now so now let me explain what i have done here so for example because this form will be opened from the dashboard form right so for example let me let me make it so i can explain it for time being let me let me make it model as no so I'll go to the form view let's open the dashboard okay so oops so for example when a user will click and say hey i would like to see all the available products so user will click here on the available products so what will happen this form will open right and in this form in this list box all the available products will be displayed user can search for a product right you can search for product by putting a product name or id hit for search and if it is available that product will be uh, filtered in this list box and if user would like to create a new product for example there is no product existing in, in in the database then user will click on create button from right here and they will be presented with the form which will be linked with the products table right you're getting and so they can create a new product and whenever any this form is open here now viewing will show what information is being displayed here if the products information is being displayed on this list box now viewing will show products if employees information is being displayed in this list box now viewing will say employees if um, payroll information is being displayed on this list box now viewing will show the payroll and that all of that functionality we would be able to achieve with the help of vba so that's the beauty of the programming so we'll have one form one controls we don't have to change controls and then we can change those controls according to what data we are looking at and what data we are going to create so all of that functionality will be achieved by using the vba which i believe the next tutorial is about vba because all the forms are created um, and now the next video tutorial that i'm going to demonstrate is vba so stay tuned for that and i think this is it this is what i wanted to achieve for this video and um, I hope you have learned something i hope you have understood why this dynamic form needs to be open uh, needs to be created if you have not yet understood no worries just keep watching the coming tutorials and i can assure you that you will know exactly oh okay this is why he has created this dynamic form and i'm sure you are going to get value out of it 
so thank you very much for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and subscribe hit the channel uh, hit the bell icon and i'm very bad by the way in, in saying all of these things that's why you see me mumbling and saying one word another word back and forth so i'm bad in saying this what i'm in in simple words what i'm trying to say subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so you get a notification whenever i upload a new video and hit the like button if you like this video thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next one